So, a warm welcome back to anyone just joining us. For those of you who enjoyed match one, well, it's time for match two. As the action in Linz continues. Sofia Polkanova looks to get things back on track for Linz Froschberg. The 26-year-old currently number 16 in the world rankings in fine form. Well, it was uh, a bit of an up-and-down performance in the semi-finals. Got off to a great start in a game that, or in a match that went all the way to the wire. In a match one of the semi-final against Titi Saint Quintinua as she beat Andrea Dragoma in five games. Was called into action in match four again when she went up against Polina Mikhailova. Just when it looked like she was going to turn things around, having lost the first game there, winning games two and three, went on to lose games four and five then, meaning Margareta Pezotska had to uh, put the finishing touches on uh, securing a place in the final for Linz. However, she has a chance now to, uh, well, try and uh, redeem herself somewhat, but it's not going to be an easy game against the young... Nina Mittelal, a very much a rising star in a German table tennis, both at club level and international level. And once again, it could be for some very, very entertaining table tennis between these two. They match up quite nicely. It will be the young German. Get the show on the road here in match two of this final. Made it all the way to the quarterfinals in uh, Montreux back in 2019 at the Europe Top 16. Picked up a uh, gold in the same year at the European Games in uh, Minsk with Team Germany. I do feel like there's still a lot of room for improvement. Which is saying something, considering how good she is already. A lovely forehand there. And off the mark as well. And Canova with a uh, well, convincing 5-1 lead here already. Well, Canova, one of those uh, players who never really, or it doesn't seem as if nerves get to it. Always looks so calm at the table, regardless of the scoreline. Taking this first game by storm. Volkanova, who uh, made the move to Linz from the Republic of Moldova, where she was born at the age of 14. the move all by herself as well which at the age of 14 is well definitely quite a task to take on that demeanor of hers very much a get the job done sort of personality 
has remained and since making the move to Linz at the age of 40. Back in 2008, she's been a Linz AG Froschberg player. Turning into one of their best. Another player where you feel that still so much to come from it. 8-4 up here. Very convincing stuff so far. Given Mittel Armour a chance to sort of settle into this. A decent attempt at a return there. Nearly came off. time from uh, Paul Canova but she's got plenty of opportunities to secure this first game having set herself up very nicely indeed 10-5 up and there it is Paul Canova taking game one 11-5 with plenty of work to do it was never going to be an easy game against Paul Canova Definitely will be one of the tougher tests as she has faced in her young but eventful career. Oh, lovely forehand that time. Much more like it. Started her club table tennis with VfL Willich back in 2006. She's played for a number of clubs in and around Germany before settling in Berlin. She's enjoyed time with the likes of Erdingen, Untrop, Holzbütigen. And Bad Driburg. Been with Berlin East side since 2018. And really is enjoying her time with the Berlin side. Certainly have seen her game vastly improve since joining East side as well. Definitely a bright future. Not just with her club, but with the German national team as well. Slowly but surely becoming an important part of it. Better start this time in game two for the German. Here comes Polkanova. to keep sending that ball out wide and almost asking middle arm to try and go for the audacious finish it's not going to be able to do it each and every time and Polkanova are well aware of that such a smart player the Austrian with a game plan and wastes absolutely no time putting that playing in putting that game plan into action excuse me which is almost ironic because she does have a very patient way of approaching the game as well she just manages to find that beautiful balance as she just edges back into the lead 5-4 up as we head towards the halfway mark of the second game So we'll exchange that. Little arm never really going for the finishing blow there. More 
Just keeping herself in the rally on the front foot, keeping the pressure on Polkanova. And forcing the error in the end. This is better from the German, not trying to force the point. to let the exchanges unfold and then wait for the opportunity to come her way. Certainly has up to game here in the second. Not quite as straightforward or plain sailing for the Austrian. There's a little bit more to think about and contend with than she did in game one. Mikulam can't afford to hand her too many points for free. As she did just there. to get inside her own head at times, which is not a surprise for a, a young player. So eager to impress and improve all the time. It really does take her. her trade extremely seriously, which is why she's going to be extremely hard to handle for any opponent. Become more and more difficult to play against with every match and every tournament she takes part in. Really soaks up her experiences like a sponge and learns from them. Has a great head on her shoulders. Sometimes can be her own worst enemy. You just see the shoulders drop. It takes her a few points to get back to where she needs to be, and sometimes at this high level. That can cost you a match. It's back to 9-9 here, though. Giving Polkanova a run for her money in this second game. Another game point for the Austrian. in trouble and Polkanova smelled blood and went in with a real conviction there it's the uh, Linz player with a 2 nothing lead and a convincing s display so far uh, for Nina Mittelarm definitely work to do perhaps a hill to try and get up and over Just helping that long and wide slightly. Little arm off to a scoring start here in game three. Rally around.
this match is moving in one direction at the moment. Seven points away from giving Linz their first win of the evening. That is a disappointing for Mittelhoff. She'll be really annoyed with herself there. Did everything to set herself up beautifully. Just couldn't find the final forehand. Cruising to victory at the moment. Much better from middle arm there, just letting go a little bit. Not overthinking that rally. The end product speaks for itself, but able to back it up with anything substantial. Eight match points for the Austrian here. In what has been a speedy, convincing, and confident match too. The young lady representing Linz AG, Froschberg. Take it first time asking. for a little bit but not long enough Polkanova in emphatic style takes a match two in three straight games now back on level terms it's all square in this final with match three just moments away